Greetings, models. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to Empires of the Undergrowth, the Formicarium story. So, we're entering into our Formicarium to build our colony called the Fallen. That's as far as I got. And we're going to change the colour to. No purple. Fine, we'll do blue then, sod ya. And begin. So, I've watched nobody play this game so far. I've only ever played the alpha gameplay, which is one off levels. I've not played the campaign, I've not watched the campaign. I know a lot of videos came out yesterday, so we're playing the campaign blind. I see the queen has taken well to her new home. It, it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. How long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Formica Fusca and observe the reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. Okay, so I've played the beginning. This is the hub zone. Basically, the hub is where you go to other levels. You go up to here. You can, like, you know, go to different levels, do different challenges. But you basically live in an ant farm, which they have captured. But, yeah, actually, let's get some stuff down. So, to start the game, to play the game if you've never actually played it, you build tiles. Each tile is a chamber. It connects to other tiles of the same thing. So, that was a food tile. So, that is a food chamber. It is up to the amount of food I can have in my base, which will be good for future. And you can also have ant chambers. These are my workers. I've only ever worked with workers and ants. Obviously, the workers and soldiers in this game. And that's obviously in the um, previous version. But basically, any ant chamber colony. Uh, any ant node or tile connecting to another tile becomes a chamber. So if I put an ant here, it'll connect to that tile and become a chamber. The queen has begun to lay new eggs. Perfect. We will uh, soon have a thriving I don't know what that means a second. But basically... Let's go over here. So if I have ants over there and ants over here, there'll be two separate chambers, which means they can do whatever they like. Obviously, some people who are probably watching this know, but, you know, you got to start off with the basics. And you have different groups down here. Each chamber can be dragged into different groups. The starting group is your nest. Ants in the nest, dig, do food collection and broad care. Any of the other ones are groups you can send out into combat. As you can see, I've put a pheromone trail. So ants in tile one or group one will be going towards this, grabbing the food and taking it back. Hopefully. There we go. As you can see, we're putting down more tiles. That will become a chamber of three worker ants in number one. because you can just drag them back to home, drag them somewhere else, so you do whatever they like. But yeah. So they'll go to this pheromone, grab the food at the pheromone, and move back. Obviously, a lot of people know what's going on. So we put two over here in my food. So these will be a, another chamber. As you can see, there's another grouping here. So I can put them wherever I like. I can put them into another net, another node, as it were. I can put them back into like group one, group two, group three. Put them into the home group. But yeah, right now we're having me group one and all to go and grab this food because I need more supplies for more ants. So we have a load of workers and we'll see how well they go. So as you can see, if I mouse over, it costs 20 food to place and two food to hatch. The soldiers are 50 food to place and 5 food to hatch. So it's always good to have a supply of food so you can hatch new troops. Basically how it works is, as in the real world, the queen lays eggs. The eggs are taken to the chamber. And there they slowly grow into these and then they hatch. So we watch them, they will grow bigger and then they hatch like that. But they can take eggs back to those places to replace losses. So you do want to have food back so you can replace losses, otherwise you lose all your troops on the front line and then you can't replace them whatsoever. But yeah, that's how the game works. Also, if they're going over these nursery chambers, they slow down. So there is, of course, speed up tiles. Oh, and also upgrades, but I'm not quite sure how that works just yet. Let's go and do the first mission. Formica level 1. So let's do, I don't know, normal difficulty? So that'll give me 20 royal jelly you need to upgrade. What's that, food? That's royal jelly, that's tiles. So those are tiles you need in your home base to build. 
Then we have royal jelly used to upgrade, which is over here. And what's this? This food? Might be food. Let's carry on. Let's play the level. Maybe they dumped food into my little nest. Who the hell knows? Anyway, let's get into it. So, let's have a start by expanding. This Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. Okay, so for those wondering, question marks could be anything. This is showing me some kind of maggoty critter. Exclamation marks are hostile enemy creatures. Hostile enemy creatures, so yes. You don't want to go to there without soldiers. So as I say, soldiers are 50 per tile and 5 to hatch. They're a lot more expensive. But we're going to go for a large assault group of infantry. And as I've pointed out, I can have multiple chambers of ants. So I can have every group with a different chamber. Of course, there's no point in doing that right now, because there's no you know, use for it. I want all my ants to work together. What's this? Outside of Formicare, I'm digging is free and there's no tech tree. These levels up these levels are set up with units who can build and tie up grids yes, automatically have encountered a pocket of woodworm. Huh. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. Did you say weevil we'll larva? And carried off for processing. Oh no, we're fighting weevils, they're nasty. And then vicious vicious things. So I'm gonna have multiple chambers of soldier ants I can group together. It gets me to send my soldier groups in different directions. That's how I'm going to work this. So I will be sending, you know, different chambers into different places, but not right now. You'll need to move in as one full group because there's a lot of exclamation marks on the map. And I'd rather not lose all my troops in one go. We're going to hit all the easy food as fast as possible. In addition to work at Black Ant Colony Company soldiers, these are combat units who will not perform the jobs that workers do. So. Soldiers kill and return food. Workers carry eggs to the larva, they grab food and they dig. So you'll be needing workers to dig and workers to look after your young, so you don't just go top heavy on soldiers. Sometimes you actually need new workers to obviously defend the nest. That's the thing you have to take into account, so yeah, that'll be fun. You have two soldier chambers right now. Like I said, if I connect them, they become one soldier chamber. We don't want that right now. I have five of seven hatched soldiers, seven of seven hatched workers. Good, 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 good. The empire of the fallen will rise here in this rotting log. Let's push down to here, hit that, and we'll hit this group over here and have a look and see what we've actually got. We said weevils. I think I remember what they are. They might be in game. So there's different types of enemies. There's regular enemies, and there's titan enemies, which as you might imagine are massive bloody things. Absolutely massive. Okay, I have seven soldiers. Let's hit this. Let's have another soldier down. Like I say, you always want to have some food stored away so you can replace losses. You don't really get to the point where all your soldiers die and nothing can be replaced. What are these? The workers <coughs> have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. Okay. If you fast... <coughs> Sorry about that, I had to go and get a drink and a sandwich. I started coughing, my throat was bad. Also, I was talking fast, but yes. So, the adults of these bloody horse things are massive titans who kill a huge amount of troops. As you can imagine, they're pretty big. What's this? Woodworm will not fight back. They provide 25 food for each. So the Woodworm are 25. The Horse Larva are 15. As you can tell, this is generally a nightmare. Let's have a look at the upgrade. Okay. 5 of 6, 6 of 6. You get what? Get plus 1 for each direction. Let's actually look. So. Interesting. We'll have a look at that in a second. There are intruders in the nest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send in the infantry. 
that's only 30. So yeah, every ant we lose is 5 resources, everything we kill is 15. So we could actually go run into loss if we hit huge numbers of these things. Which might be the case. Hopefully these are ants and not those lava, because those could be a nasty battle otherwise. Let's carry on. Okay, so they're going to move over there. Let's have a look. Upgrade. Predators are loose. Why use 50 resources? The lava Bloody hell. Must be protected. So that just costs 50 resources, but leveled up the ant. What's it say? Allows the target you to upgrade a target, increasing its performance or improving the ant spawned on it. Upgrade costs match the original placement. So I don't know. 50 resources? Might be worthwhile just, you know, building more ants. So it's upgrading my ants. I now have a level 2 soldier who might be quite powerful for all I know. What's this? Once a tile is surrounded by six tiles of the same type or walls, it can be upgraded. All walls, okay, it can be upgraded. From the build menu, select the upgrade tool, you'll now see tiles that can be upgraded noted by a complete green circle. Oh, I see. So if walls are things there, that's why that was upgradable, because it was against the edge. And that is now giving plus two. So a level two gives plus two. I imagine a level three will give a plus three. So you can actually fully upgrade a little colony circle pretty quickly. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Okay, let's hit the bigger force up over there. We've hit everything down here. Good, so... I do think we need to build a food Sorry, chamber food further up. What are these? These wood lights? They're wood lights. Look at their little antenna. What are resource nodes? Okay, so yeah, we're going to build a food chamber closer to the enemy because otherwise food takes too long to get back to base and we can't store much. This will be here then. There we go. Another thing we have to look at the idea of, these enemies are bigger than me and more heavily armoured. Which means fighting them in the small confines of this tunnel, where it's four of them and maybe six of me, I can't use my superior numbers advantage. So I need bigger tunnels, but against ants I need, you know, smaller tunnels. Oh, wood lice! These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. Yeah, wood lice are heavily armoured. Wood lice of thick outer armour take a while to kill, but will not attack back. They hunker down and ability provides them with increased defence for a short period of time, reducing physical damage. Once killed, it can be harvested by one ant at any time for a total of 40 food. So you kill them, they become food nodes. Okay. Well, we only have seven ants working at the rear right now, so it's going to be slow going to build new stuff and get new ants up. Maybe I need some more workers at the back. Now, if I want to, I'd like to point out, it costs 50 for every one of these tiles. I could have built, for the same 200 there, 10 workers. Which I probably will over here, actually. Let's build a worker uh, chamber over here. Also, just for those wondering, you can't dig on the grey. It's, it's impassable. It's stone. We can't dig stone. There we go. What's this? A task surrounded by two by level two tiles could go to level three. Each upgrade makes the ants produce about tile more powerful. At level three, they'll often gain an extra ability. Design chambers hexagonally and surrounded by walls to be able to upgrade the maximum number of ants. Level three ants gain abilities, eh? Okay. Let's uh, hit this. So I think for my troops, let's actually bring these guys to here. I need to be able to surround the enemies. That means digging big chambers. I'm also thinking of leaving a few extra ants back at base because otherwise we don't actually have, you know, the eggs being transferred around fast. But I'm not too sure I want to upgrade all my ants. I'd rather have more, you know, soldiers. There we go. So, yeah, it's all about where do I want my resources to go. I, I don't know if I actually want a lot of workers because they're not the most powerful critters in the world. That's why you have soldiers. But they will give me a numbers advantage. Also, for those wondering, you can actually turn off. Oh, look, you can actually turn off, gather food, and prevent attack. So, if you want to, you can actually have a worker group going out which attacks nobody just for food. 
We can actually turn your assault force to not gather food, because obviously they'd gather food while in the middle of an attack. And you don't really want your troops to go back to base when you're under attack. Oh, it says so here. We're told not to gather food, so yeah. You don't want your troops in the heat of battle to go home. It's a bit of an issue when that happens, I'll be honest. But we also want to make sure we have plenty of food back at base again, because I don't want to have, you know, my ants starving. We need resources to be able to produce new oh, ants when we lose troops. Oh, another dead woodlouse. Okay, all the ants go. Also having diggers in this team, maybe they'll dig out the actual walls for us without our home base forces having to move. So they want my nest troops to actually have to come to the front line. So we have workers with our front line, they should dig for us. That's what I'm aiming for here anyway. Yeah, so, oh god, please be ants over here, please don't be even more of those, they're quite powerful. We only have 20 food spare, that's only like 5 extra soldiers, okay. Let's do it. Please be ants, please be ants, please be ants. There go my workers with this group. Are they so are they ants? There are intruders in the nest. Oh god, they're not ants. They're not ants at all. Oh my god, there are so many. We don't have the resources to replace losses. Come on. Hold them. Hold them. Pull the ants back, pull the ants back. So we're regrouping our troops over here right now. Yeah, we've just lost a lot of troops. There we go, charge them. Go, go, go. There we go, not as many workers and soldiers as I'd like, but we did it. So that's another problem, we just lost a lot of infantry as it were. So we're needing a lot more replacements, but yes, if you don't have the food to replace them, you are in a bit of trouble. You always need food supplies to replace the front line continuously. That's rule number one. Luckily they're putting bits of the wood lice out, there we go. I shouldn't have depleted my resources that bad, that was just stupid of me. Okay, got chambers over there, chambers over there. Let's get another one. Let's get another colony chamber over here, why not? Another soldier chamber. There we go. So remember it is early access, you may see a few weird bugs and things, but that's what you deal with when you do early access. Okay, I'm completely out of food. We need this to be good. There we go, take them. Oh, so many ants there, that's a lot of resource loss. Never want to have no food back at base. That was a major stupidity of my part. There we go. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Doing it again, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Okay, we need to hit this food supply over here. Now, they could be anything. They're obviously not, um, you know, not lava. So everything here is horse lava. Look at them all. So this is going to be... There, are intruders in the there we go, kill. Obviously I'm not making any level 2 ants. I've made 1. I'd rather have superior numbers right now. Because from what it sounds like, there'll be an adult titan somewhere. I'd rather fight that with, you know, full numbers. We have spare food, so we can replace losses right now. Perfect. There, are there we go, there we go. God, look at this. But yeah, so I think for these guys as well, we don't want... God, here come my troops. Yeah, for these guys, we actually do want small tunnels now I'm looking at it. They're outnumbering me heavily and they have more, they have more of them. There's a lot more of them. There we go, another one down. The colony is starving. Not oh god, so yeah, the, the fact that I've opened a tunnel up like that is actually a detriment to my troops right now because I don't have the numbers to beat their numbers. 
So that's actually a problem. So he actually wants small tunnels to fight these guys. There's just so many of them. Oh god, okay. Oh, another soldier colony I was never using. I forgot I made another chamber. Yeah, there's a chamber over here, isn't there? Yes, okay. I keep saying colony, it's chamber, not colony. You don't have multiple colonies in one ant nest, that's just weird. Obviously, I also need to have some more workers back at base, too. Because right now, this obviously, construction takes forever. Small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Should still be doing okay here. Yeah, we are, okay. There we go, wipe them out. Wipe out the wood lice. So I need some more food and maybe a couple of extra ants back at base. I'm not too sure. A couple of extra workers, definitely. There we go, kill them all off. Ignore my stomach. So yeah, I think I need a lot more ants. Because this is going to be a nightmare. And also doing the big attack. Only works when you outnumber the enemy, not when they outnumber you and are larger. That was just stupid. There we go. Steady supply of food back to base. More ants on the way, that's good. There we go. Okay, I've cleared them all out, so let's see. We've got the group over there, group over here, okay. Okay, the ants, as you can see, the pheromone sometimes takes a while to go away. That's because ants are going towards the pheromone, obviously, so, yeah, they don't generally turn around. They go to the pheromone, then they change things. There are intruders in the nest. Kill them. So we're going to use the actual narrow tunnels now to fight. That way we can just have small numbers of them fighting large numbers of me. With supplies and reinforcements always coming from the rear. Fine, we're doing it the old-fashioned way. Probably do have more food, to be honest. More food storage. Okay, there we go. Look at these guys have their own diggers. Let's have another food store here. Predators are loose in the nest. There we go. The larvae must push in, push in, push in. As you can see, my superior numbers are holding because they can't bring their superior numbers to base against me. So I lose an ant, and ant immediately replaces it. So I guess we'll have to do the old-fashioned small tunnel combat. Okay. We're going to have open warfare then. There we go. Bring it all in. Let's have a couple of spare workers at the back just in case. You never know. A little bit of lag here and there. I'm not sure that's my computer or the game, but we have another five man grouping over there. Five ant grouping. That'll give us 12 back at base. There we go. So we only have. We have some supplies left, but not many. So we have 46. Whatever we have to do, we'll have to hit this. And hit that, okay. Oh, it's gonna be painful. Okay, what we're gonna do is bring all of them over here and have unit two go to there. That way my soldiers can be back here. We only lose workers. Sacrificial pawn is is a go. Predators are loose in the Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, there's a there it is, there's a titan! Protected. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle yeah. is almost four times the size of a black ant, and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. Yeah, fun! The fun, they're lovely critters! The is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. Dozens. Maybe um, workers, but not soldiers. Okay, so that becomes a hundred node for two ants. Okay. But yeah, heavily armoured, spits acid, na massively nasty things. 
And there's probably another one back here. I bet you there's more than one. I bet you there's more than one. If workers push forwards, we have the food supply to replace losses now. We have 12 ants at the rear. Okay, push up, push up, push up. Hold the line, hold the line. Oh, good, there's two of them. There is two of them. Okay, hold the line. They've got a lot of little ones behind them. We have 150 food. We can replace losses. We can replace losses. Keep fighting. There we are. Ants are pouring up. We can replace losses. Come on. Hold that tunnel entrance. Hold that tunnel entrance. Hold that tunnel entrance. Hold that tunnel entrance. Oh. Okay, pull to here. Pull to here. I'm pulling my resources back. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Ah, God. Okay. This might be our last stand if we get this wrong. There we go. Pull back, pull back, pull back. We want to have a good area we can hold. No, ant! You gotta go here, you gotta go here. Get rid of it. That's everything. Get rid of it. Charge! There we go, there we go, there we go. Every ant we've got. Swarm them! Oh god, they're killing everything. So yeah, workers are useless right now. Maybe there's an upgrade, I'll have to have a look. There we go. That's the last one! Kill it! We did it! We win! This world is ours! This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. For the time being, however, the Queen is safe. Wait, we'll be controlling two ants? How'd that work? So we gained extra territory, extra food, and extra royal jelly. Perfect. So yeah, we'll have a quick look at the upgrade system, although I don't think we have the resources for it, and then we'll end it. Choose a reward. Oh, I see. That one. Extra royal jelly. End the level. So we go back to our little base. So I wanted the extra royal jelly, because I'd like to upgrade my troops, obviously. But we're back to base, we'll see how it goes, and then, yeah. Longer than I thought I'd go. My god, I'm pretty bad at this game, aren't I? It's good I'm trying to get to grips with all the new stuff, what's this? How is the colony progressing? The Queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviours. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. Intriguing. Okay, so we're gonna dig up to so you dig up to this, then you need to get the surface area. Which for us right now is of course um a yeah oh look at that food we can, we can expand immensely yeah which for us right now is literally we live inside an ant farm let's have a look at our upgrades we have 71 royal jelly meat wall 50 royal jelly reduces damage workers are longer slowed on nurseries nurseries okay three dollars for each of my tables this not in combat Works about percent chance of causing no damage. Really? So don't get attacked. So you can actually have these not getting attacked. Upgrade level two. Can upgrade work tiles to level two. This is back at base, isn't it? Cannot take more than twenty damage a single attack. Aggressive broad. Can attack by three. Oh, I see. You, you get a choice of one of each of these. So if you pick one, you don't get the other one. Okay. We'll do that next episode then. Upgrade our troops. Can I get this? I need 75 raw jelly to unlock black ants for my main colony. Okay, either way, I've been the Fallen Shogun. This has been Empires of the Undergrowth. If you enjoyed, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. You come to apply. Like, as soon as I can for longer. And of course, you do subscribe. You do become part of the Fallen. You do know new videos and series come out. And at the end of the last battle, I will see you in Valhalla. Ciao's for now's people. What is this? How many ants I can have? It is. That's annoying. Bye-bye. Hmm.